Good evening, good evening, Scorpios. Welcome to Kiki's Doorway. Ah, uh, my opposite sign, Anubis, Nephis. Oh, sister of Anana, the underworld. Let's see what your past lives want you to know for the now. Okay. God. Gaia, God, guide us, God, goddess, mother, father, what should Gemini, well, Gemini's, wow, Gemini's came into mind, so I just finished doing them, and I was mentioning about their souls, so Scorpios, if you do not think that your soul or that is connected to the intuition is on point, baby, Baby boy, baby girl, your intuition is so on point and it is so needed. You are the Akashic records of the living and the dead, okay? So please use that soul aspect of yourself in the decisions that you make for June 9th to June 15th. What does Scorpio's past lives want them to know for June 9th to June 15th? June 9th, the number of completion. Whatever your spirit is in life right now, you completed already. You been there, done that, flipped it back, forward, sideways, in and out. You did every position you could. You, you, you wore it out. You wore it out. Now it's time for some new stuff. Okay? So make room for that new. That new, new. Okay? Like Keisha Cole said, that new, new. All right? If you got to, do Cardi B, make them bloody moves. And what actions should Scorpios take from their past lives? What actions should Scorpios take from June 9th to June 15th, 2018? What actions should Scorpios take from June 9th to June 15th? All right, let's see. Okay. Fine. Wow. Scorpios, you were once pharaohs. Of Egypt, you are our leaders, you are our council. You helped us to understand our feelings, our souls. And from that, we gave you so much thanks, so much gratitude. That's why we still to this day talk about Ra, talk about Isis, talk about Nephis, talk about, oh my God, the underworld itself. How we even got the Book of the Dead, how we even got to understand mummification and about the living and how to celebrate the dead, how to recognize that the dead is the living. So remember, Scorpios, that you were once pharaohs. Be pharaohs once again. Combine that female and masculine, that masculine and female, that God, goddess, that mother, father, father, mother, and the soul. Because the soul had to come down based on the mother and father's interpretation of all things. All things. Even above, so below. And notice how they made sure to align the soul, the sun, with the physical flesh of this earth. So do not be afraid to combine your soul with what your body wants to express. Because you're very sensual. You're part of also the water, Scorpio. Yes, you're the water sign. But a lot of people are so used to your Gemini qualities that they forget that it's through your Scorpio soul that they're able to hear it through your wording. And do not be afraid because trust and believe. God, the angels, look at her. Ah! They got you. They like, yeah, girl. Yeah, boy. Do it. Do it. 
because you have trust and faith in yourself. Your intuition, God and God as mother and father gave you in this Scorpio body, in the now, the opportunity to trust and know and have faith that what you feel, your feelings are real. See, human beings believe that feelings are not real. But we damn sure like to use it to get over in life, don't we? We damn sure like to use it when we want to get somebody to love us or when we want that job or we want that friend to know how good and how down we are. That's when we definitely use those emotions, don't we, Scorpio? So show people that every day we use our feelings to manipulate, persuade, and, and survive in this world. And there's nothing wrong with that. But understanding where it comes from, that's where the Scorpio, that's where that Pharaoh comes in and says, hey, guys, if you must be an ass, understand why you must be an asshole. This is where it's coming from. This is, you had to have a feeling from other, everything that had life, that has life. You had to be reacting to those feelings. Okay? Now, if you got to say your reaction is actually your mind speaking in an expression form to make people feel better about their feelings, so be it. Hey, Scorpios, you don't know how to finesse. Do a Bruno, uh, Bruno Mars. Finesse. Take that stress off. What action should you take? Ah, now, now, now. I talked about the waters. Wait in the water. Wait in the water, children. Wait, wait in the water. She's taking a jacuzzi bath in the water. Look at that. She cooling. She doing a Maya. Cooling. So we cooling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. She is relaxing. She knows she got them jewels down there. Scorpio, look, when you use your intuition, when you combine that mother, father, goddess, and soul, that soul, trust me, look at that. You get the world when you were asking for. You get that and many more. Look at all that jewels. Look at all them gems. Look at that. Nine of water. Completion. Well, remember the nine we was talking about. Completion. Your wish comes true. Concerns fade away. A love of life. Look at that. Look at that. Now, use that intuition. Ignite those feelings. Those feelings are real. That's how you get your strong intuition. That's how you get your third eye so strong with the force. The force is strong in you. The force is strong in you. Why I say this? Because the angels say, hey, now. Look at that. I got, look, I got the sun right there. I got that soul right there, that Gemini soul right there. If you're questioning where your soul comes from, Gemini handed it to you. Say, here, look at here. Look at here, look at here. The angels came from above. You got Gabriel Michael in them saying, oh, oh, here comes your gifts of intuition and feelings. And when you give them to the world, like Michael said, you are the world. You are the children. You are the ones that make a better place, Pharaoh, so stop bullshitting. No, he didn't say that. You know, he couldn't say that. Black side wanted to say it, though. I said it for him. From that, Scorpios, you get your bounty, okay? Listen to your intuition. Follow your feelings. Trust and have faith that they're guiding you to the path, the life path you seek. So if you're concerned about your new career, your new life, or where your life path is, it's right in front of your face. It's within you. It's always been within you. It's so much so that ask your family, ask your friends that ask you for advice and feedback in their lives. Ask them, have you ever been wrong? They're going to tell you, no, no, sis, no, bro. You've been right on point. So on point, it scares me. So trust and believe that will give you the bounty that you seek, okay? So if you like what you heard, please like, share, and subscribe. Till we meet again, I love you guys. See you on other sky. On other sky. Mm, maybe you should follow the skies on this one. Look at the stars. Look at the moon at night. Set your intentions out, out in the moon tonight.
Set your intentions out to the stars. You'll get your answers. Okay? And if you need some more inspiration, check out Sunshine, S-U-N-S-H-I-N-E, Tarot, and Love and Light, Tarot. Those two sisters will definitely lead you the rest of the way, okay? Till we meet again, I'll see you on the other side. Bye.